In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the rear, also known as bank one or right bank, catalytic converter pipe on this Dodge Grant Caravan. Let's get started. It will be a lot easier to work if we take this shield off. It's only held on with two little fasteners, so let's take both of those out. Up top, it has an 11 millimeter nut. Take this off. And underneath, a little bit further back, it has an eight millimeter bolt. Take this off. Now you should be able to pull the shield right down. Looking all the way up there, you'll see that white connector is actually for the upstream O2 sensor. So I'm gonna start with unplugging it. Press on this tab, unplug the connector. With the connector unplugged, you should have enough slack in it to loop it up and over that hook so you can release it from its retainer. There we go, there's the wire. Now use an O2 sensor socket, or you could use a 22 millimeter wrench, but oftentimes you're gonna need the socket because it has a lot more grip than a wrench. Slide the socket over the sensor. Make sure that's bottomed out like that. Once you have your tool on there, pull counterclockwise and hopefully that breaks free. Ooh, got it. All right. At this point, you can take your socket off and your ratchet, of course, or whatever tool you were using. Now, unthread the O2 sensor. There it is. Now let's unplug this downstream O2 sensor. If you just follow the wire, you'll see that black connector on the left side. That's what we have to unplug. Reach up here, press down on that tab at the top, <coughs> slide the connector out. And then it's actually clipped onto this shield over here. So just either take the wire out of the clip or take the clip off the shield with the wire. Now get your O2 sensor socket over this. Make sure that's seated all the way. Stick your ratchet on it and Break this free, turn it counterclockwise. <clears throat> there we go. To get a little bit more leverage on that. Now get your socket off of the sensor. All right, and unthread the sensor. There it is. Now at the bottom, let's disconnect this flange. And well, as you can see, there's pretty much nothing left of my hardware. So I have to either cut it or break it. I'm gonna try the air chisel first and just see if it'll snap off. That's actually gonna be easier. I'm just gonna try and break it off. If not, I will, like I said, cut it with a cutoff wheel, but you should have a nut and a bolt. Hopefully there still is one there for you. Well, two actually, one here, one here. There's a gasket. All right, we have separation here. Now my pipe is moving because the front also broke. Use a 10 millimeter socket and get both of these bolts off that bolt the cap pipe onto the head. With the help of a rubber mallet, tap it upwards from the bottom There we go. Bring it up. I'm gonna have to twist it and turn it to make it fit here. There we go. There it is. There's your rear cat. Now we have to remove that lower bracket so we can get that gasket out. The bracket actually bolts on with the gasket underneath it. And we also have to clean everything up. So use that same 10 millimeter socket you used earlier and take both of those bolts out. There's one. All right, there we go. Oh, gasket fell on the ground, that's fine. Fish this bracket out. Now we have to clean that surface on the head. 
Now take a razor blade and clean the entire surface. Don't sand it down unless you have a sanding block with fine sandpaper, because if you sand it with anything coarse or uneven, it can damage the surface and the exhaust will not seal up anymore. The razor blade will be gentle on the aluminum and it will leave a nice flat surface behind. Now with all of that cleaned up, bring the new gasket in with this bracket. You can reach these from underneath and just start them in. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fit a torque wrench in here, so I'm just going to make sure that they're actually nice and tight by hand. The torque for those is only 17 foot-pounds, so when you stung them up, don't go crazy tight. There we go. Yep, that's tight. Now let's get the new catalytic converter in, the same exact way the old one came out. I'm gonna slide it down this way, and then you'll have to go from underneath at the same time and kind of wiggle it until you find the right spot for it to fall into place. There we go. All right, now, now as it comes down, that lip on the flange has to hook onto that bracket that's down there, or up on the manifold. So you have to kind of go up, forward, and then back down. Tap it down gently. That's in. The bolts are perfectly lined up at the top. Start these bolts in. The torque for these is also 17 foot-pounds, just like the bracket. So I'm gonna start them in by hand to make sure they're gonna go in nice and smooth, which they are, so that's, that's a good thing. We're gonna bottom these out. And then, uh, once again, I can't really get a torque wrench in here to accurately torque them, so I'm just gonna have to make them nice and snug by hand. If for some reason you can torque them, 17 foot-pounds. Everything is nice and tight up there now. Now let's get the downstream O2 sensor reattached. I'm gonna thread it on all the way. There we go. Grab that O2 sensor socket, slide it over. Usually you can give it another quick turn by hand like this. Then you'll have to put your uh, ratchet on the, on the socket so you can get some leverage. All right. I'm gonna just snug this up. Basically, there's a, uh, a crush washer in there that has to, well, just crush, squeeze, and that's what's going to create that nice and tight seal so you don't have any exhaust leaks. And once you, uh, once you feel like that is crushed down, right about here, you're good to go. So basically, about a quarter turn after you bottom it out should be good to go. Secure the wire back onto the shield. Plug the connector back in, make sure it clicks. There we go. Now reinstall this up, upstream O2 sensor. Thread it on by hand, make sure you bottom it out. And tighten it up. All right, that's good right there. Now re-secure the wire onto this retainer and plug it in make sure it clicks if your original hardware down here was rotted like mine you're gonna have to source new hardware i just have some nuts and bolts uh, also you want to make sure you clean off this flange right here which you can do while the pipe is off if it looks in a really bad condition uh, but usually these surfaces here aren't too bad just scrape off the old gasket then take your new gasket Slide it in here, and if you put on new hardware, you can choose which direction you want it to go through. I'm just gonna go from the pipe to the manifold here. I'm gonna have to push this up a little bit. There we go, just like that. Try and get the other one lined up as well. Okay, and I have some mounting nuts. Okay, got that one started. Now just tighten up these mounting bolts. What you're looking for here is to just squeeze the pipe down onto the manifold to squish that gasket and create a nice tight seal. There we go, 
they don't have to be extremely tight. You just have to squish that gasket down a little bit. <clears throat> and there you have it. Get this shield re-secured on here. Snug these fasteners up. They're very small, so just make them slightly tight, but don't crush them down. They will break or strip out. And same with this mounting nut here. If this is too rusty here and it doesn't want to stay on, just put a large washer over it. That should hold it on nicely. You want to make sure that this shield is on and tight, not just to protect it from the heat of the exhaust, but also if it's not tight, it'll rattle and well, it's gonna get pretty annoying if it rattles as you drive down the road. At this point, go ahead and run the vehicle. Make sure you have no exhaust leaks. If you do, address them because that would be a safety concern. Other than that, take it for a road test and make sure it's all good. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.